because we're created in the image of God, reflecting him in what we do, we're also fulfilling his purposes for our lives. And that means we take a special perspective into the jobs that we do. Now there's the, the old, old account of Martin Luther who came across the bricklayers and he said to one, what are you doing? And uh, the first said, well, I'm laying bricks. And he said to the next one, what are you doing? And the other said, I'm building a cathedral. There was a sense in which by being made in the image of God, someone recognized I'm participating in God's purposes. Yes, there's a, a job that I do there, the mechanics and practices of any profession. But there's another sense in which we recognize God has put us in that place for the purposes of imaging God, of reflecting Him, of reflecting His purposes. So that when uh, God called Adam and Eve to do a job, to uh, tend and maintain the garden so that it would produce fruit, there was a, a flourishing of creation that was to be stewarded and a maintaining of creation that was to be cultivated. So that when we are made in God's image, we recognize that what we are doing is we are still fulfilling God's purposes, reflecting Him in the world, pushing back the darkness, pushing back the fall, and in doing so, we are pushing the kingdom forward. I'm cultivating and making flourish the purposes of God for His people. How can I know that's my purpose? Because I'm made in the image of God. That's what God is doing. And so as I am honoring God in what I do, acting with integrity and diligence in my work, I'm actually fulfilling His kingdom purpose in the ordinary job that I do.